From the deep blue expanse of the Pacific to the vibrant greens of coastal waters, our oceans are undergoing a significant transformation. But why are these changes happening, and what does it mean for our planet? Today, we explore why the world's oceans are changing color and how climate change is at the heart of this phenomenon. Oceans have always been dynamic, with their colors ranging from deep blues to vivid greens. The color of the ocean is influenced by several factors, including the amount of sunlight, the presence of algae and phytoplankton, and the scattering of light by water molecules. Historically, the blue hues of the open ocean indicated low biological activity, while greener waters near coastlines suggested higher concentrations of phytoplankton. The interaction of sunlight with water molecules scatters the light, and this scattering is influenced by the clarity and composition of the water. In areas with fewer suspended particles and less biological activity, the water appears bluer because blue wavelengths are scattered more than other colors. Conversely, when phytoplankton and other organic matter are abundant, the water appears greener due to the chlorophyll in phytoplankton, which absorbs blue and red light and reflects green light. Recently, scientists have noticed a significant shift in the color of the oceans. Over the past two decades, more than half of the world's oceans have changed color. The primary driver of this change is climate change. Climate change is altering ocean temperatures, stratification, and nutrient availability, which in turn affects phytoplankton populations. Warmer waters can lead to more frequent and intense phytoplankton blooms in some areas, making the waters appear greener. In contrast, some regions may see a decline in phytoplankton, leading to bluer waters. Studies using satellite data have been instrumental in tracking these changes. NASA's Aqua Satellite, equipped with the Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectroradiometer, also known as MODIS, has provided comprehensive data on ocean color since 2002. This data reveals that regions between 40 degrees north and 40 degrees south latitudes are experiencing the most noticeable changes. Researchers from the MIT and the National Oceanography Center in Southampton have used this data to model the impact of climate change on ocean color. Their models predict that by the end of the 21st century, over 50% of the world's oceans will have changed color due to rising global temperatures. We've been running simulations for years, and now we can see these changes in real time. It's both fascinating and concerning. The greening of the oceans is a clear signal that our climate is changing, and this is just one of many impacts we're seeing on a global scale. These color changes are more than just a visual shift. They indicate profound alterations in marine ecosystems. Different species of phytoplankton thrive under different conditions. As the climate warms, species composition changes, which can affect the entire food web. Some species may become more dominant, while others decline, disrupting the balance of marine life. For example, certain types of phytoplankton that flourish in warmer waters might be less effective at sequestering carbon, impacting the ocean's ability to mitigate climate change. Additionally, these shifts can influence fisheries, as changes in plankton populations affect the species of fish that are able to thrive. The impact of these changes varies by region. In the polar regions, melting ice and warming waters are leading to increased phytoplankton blooms, making the waters greener. In contrast, subtropical regions, which are typically nutrient poor, may see a reduction in phytoplankton, resulting in bluer waters. These changes in phytoplankton populations can cascade through the food web. Fish, seabirds, and even marine mammals depend on these tiny organisms for food. Changes in their abundance and distribution can lead to shifts in the entire ecosystem. The impact of these changes varies by region. In the polar regions, melting ice and warming waters are leading to increased phytoplankton blooms, making the waters greener. In contrast, subtropical regions, which are typically nutrient poor, may see a reduction in phytoplankton, resulting in bluer water. This regional variability highlights the complex nature of climate change's impact on marine ecosystems. It's not just a matter of temperature increase, but how these changes interact with local environmental conditions. In tropical regions, increased stratification can limit nutrient mixing, reducing phytoplankton growth. 
However, in polar regions, warmer temperatures and reduced ice cover can enhance nutrient availability, promoting phytoplankton blooms. As we look to the future, monitoring these changes becomes crucial. Satellite technology will continue to play a key role in observing and understanding the shifts in ocean color. This data helps scientists predict future changes and develop strategies to mitigate the impact of climate change on marine life. Advanced satellite missions, such as NASA's Plankton, Aerosol, Cloud, Ocean Ecosystem Mission, are expected to provide even more detailed data on ocean color and composition. These missions will help us better understand the complex interactions between climate change and marine ecosystems. But it's not just up to scientists. Public awareness and policy actions are essential. By understanding the connection between climate change and ocean health, we can advocate for measures to reduce carbon emissions and protect our oceans. Addressing climate change requires a concerted effort from all sectors of society. Policies that reduce greenhouse gas emissions, protect marine environments, and promote sustainable practices are crucial to mitigating the impacts of climate change on our oceans. The changing colors of our oceans are a stark reminder of the far-reaching effects of climate change. They serve as a visual cue of the transformations happening beneath the waves, affecting marine life and global climate systems. By paying attention to these changes, we can better understand the health of our planet and take action to preserve it for future generations. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on our latest content. Let's work together to protect our oceans and our planet.